Hey guys, Roland well, from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on this 2016 Chrysler 300 driver's side fender removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification, and also hit that like button for great, more great videos like this one. Uh, if you guys need this uh, fender for your vehicle, the link is up above and also down below where you can purchase that at redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. And also, if you guys didn't watch the video on how to remove the front bumper, the link is down below. So let's go ahead and get started on this one. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we'll turn the wheel this way because we got to get it into here to take off this little um, push pin. Alright, so on here guys, you just need a fly head right here. So just go ahead and insert in between the top of that push pin and also the middle part. Alright, so there's one right there. We should push pin like that and it kind of closes like that and just go there's like slits right there kind of push up on that and if you kind of maneuver around there's another one and it should pop up like that all right guys once you get that one push pin off there's going to be another one actually two of them right down below it so we're going to go ahead and take that off so same thing you can use a fly head to take off these push pins but i'm lucky enough to have one of these uh panel removal tool so basically all I'll do same thing as a flathead I don't have to go around it because it acts like two flats in one take that off take that off all right there's two of them so you actually need something like this but if because if you pull it it might just break so you need something like this to wedge in there Open the door. Who that door is? Just hold on by those clips like that. So all you have to do is uh, pry down on it, and it should release some of that uh, clips. You don't need to take off the whole uh, side skirt. So all we're trying to do is try to get this side down a little bit, and you guys can see. And this thing broke because it's held on by this thing but this thing broke because of the accident so it's a good reference on it might actually break if you guys just pull it off but i'm not sure but that's what it looks like that's what this thing is held on by all right so your bolts are like right down there there's two of them okay guys so right down there you just gotta take off those two bolts so you come down here press down on it and you should be able to feel it it's like right here it's gonna be a 10 millimeter let me see if i can show you guys that there you go 10. okay and it looks like that there's gonna be two of them twins all right guys so the next bolt we're gonna be taking off it's gonna be right on top right there you see that bolt right there all right, so that's the bolt we're taking off right there, just on top of the, I believe it's called A-pillar, on top of the fender. So you get a 10 millimeter with an extension and take that off. Well, before we pop open that hood, there's going to be like this plastic piece right here. And now you just kind of press down on it and it comes right off like that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and pop the hood up. And you're going to see one two I believe let's see so with this this rubber piece you can just take that off this is like a, a little plastic thingy okay so on top there's only gonna be two one right here and one right take here that off. I'll show you this three And that's one, two right there. And there's gonna be a third one right there. All right, so we removed the top bolts, but right here, there's gonna be one, two, three, four bolts, I believe. But you see how it's 
I don't know how that happened. It looked like the whole thing came off. Someone like cut it off or something. But I'm gonna show you guys on the other side what you guys have to take off over there. All right, so this is the other side of the fender or the other side of the car where the other fender is. You see like these bolts right here, one, two, and then there's a th uh, third one right there that you gotta take off. All right, so the last bolt I believe we gotta take off is behind that fender liner. Let's see if I can push this to the side. Just feel in here, you feel like a, a, a foam piece, like this one. Magic trick. Take that off. And then if you guys come over here, you gotta use your hands, you gotta feel for it. Let's see. Right here, it's like I think it's like a 10 millimeter uh, nut. So you need an extension, 10 millimeter. And then push this back a little bit. So you do need this long one right here because it's a pretty long, uh, it's a long screw that goes where the nut goes into. This. Oh, yeah. It's like this. And this was like right here. Okay, so now I think we can take off the fender. Alright, once everything is unbolted, you should be able to pull up first because the fender goes this way. You gotta pull up first. And there we go. Okay guys, on the old fender, this is the old fender, the damaged one. We gotta take off this bracket right here. That holds the bumper in place. So that's just simple, it's a 10 millimeter. If you guys get a flat head, if you guys go back here, you can push down on that thing. There you go. All right, so this is the new fender right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put that bracket on. So the other thing that you guys need on your fender, if, because mine was damaged, you gotta come over here. Once you take off that bolt that was inside here, this is your bracket. So just line it up like that. All right, so let's go ahead and put on this fender. So the one thing about this fender is that remember it has to go over first. So let me show you guys that. So it has to go over first, like that. And then you kind of have to slide it in, like that. Okay, there we go. Now I have to go down here and push down the fender liner and then I should sometimes this fender liner gets in the way okay so there we go so we're gonna stop start on top right here first all we're gonna do is just gonna tan tighten it so you're gonna have a lot of bolts but the one that you guys need is the one with the kind of a tip like this like a sharp tip is on top so you guys can see I'm just gonna hand tighten it so we gotta line it up first before we start doing anything else there we go the other one is right here the other ones right here All right, so we're gonna drop this hood slowly yeah, the gap looks good all the way through I'm gonna just check the other side so the top part of the the fender is good so we're gonna go ahead and tighten those up okay so the fender liner area you're gonna go ahead and push it in and look at the gap gap looks good gap looks good all right so we're gonna put in that 
that bolt that went right here and see how that looks. So that's the bolt we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up. All right, looks good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the bolts down there. All right, so the next one's gonna be that bolt right there. Okay, that's good. All right, before we push in the, that side skirt, we're gonna put in this little foam piece. So I think it goes this way. Let me see. I actually go this way. Go this way. So I'm just looking, yep, I think it goes this way. Alright All right, guys, so something that I forgot to record here was that the fender liner has to go behind the fender and also down here behind it and then you put those push pins in, okay? So now it should be secured. Well this one's broken because those clips broke, but that's how you do it. Put that uh, side skirts in place too. Okay, the last thing you guys do need to do because this one doesn't have it. It's a support that was right there, but the customer didn't want it. So you're missing those two bolts right there. It shouldn't affect it too much, but again, that's gonna be like right here. So you guys can see like right there, you need those two bolts also, okay? All right guys, so that's how you install a 2016 Chrysler 300M driver's side fender. Thank you guys for watching.